Okay, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial here on um, how to convert your own Blu-rays um, into a 4K upscaled um, version of the movie. Now the main reason for doing this is because if you've got a 4K TV um, and for example if you like me and you like to have all your films in one place and accessible, um, a bit like a movie jukebox type thing, I use my tower computer linked to a Plex media server um, through my Xbox One at the moment um, for ripping standard DVDs off, so not 3Ds but standard DVDs to um, 1080p um, so I have everything saved, all my Blu-rays now saved on a very large hard drive on my computer and I can just go into Plex media server on the Xbox uh, One and pick a film, watch it I don't have to bother about putting discs in and out this is from a personal collection. I'm not uh, an advocate of um, video piracy. Um, I only copy my own films, don't lend them out. Um, these, these are just mine, and I copy them onto my computer hard drive, so it keeps my Blu-rays in pristine condition. And it, it's the best way I, I, I find to watch movies. I've got a catalogue of movies that I can watch whenever I want. Um, now the problem with this is that um, when it comes down to 3D films, um, the resolution um, of a 3D Blu-ray is uh, 1920 by 1080 um, and when I watch that on my passive 4K TV it halves the resolution both horizontally and vertically um, which would take it um, down to a really low resolution and not, doesn't look good at all uh, I like to cope with it for a while but then just got to a point where I was back sticking my Blu-ray discs in. Um, yeah it does upscale then back up to you know up to the, the 4k but doesn't have any more detail um, you can't find detail where there isn't any detail available so um, my solution to this was um, because it's a 4k TV you've got extra pixels there I'll take this into I'll take my Blu-ray into DVD fab and I'll upscale it and I'll use this 4K um, MP4 encoder um, make sure it's set to 3D mode so when you click on there you get an option for 3D mode um, go into advanced settings and use the settings in here so if you want to take a still of this, um, this, this screen I won't go through all the settings but these are the settings that I use audio is mainly set to a a AAC um, because most things will play that format if you do copy audio and it's copying the original audio either DTS um, or other audio formats some other um, TVs and things like that have, have problems playing them back um, so this, this is this is how I set it all up um, so just OK that so it's the MP4 4K setup which will then basically I bob in the disc the disc will um, be read it will show the main movie and then all you do is tick it um, make sure nothing else is ticked under the other title section and then click start um, once it does that it will start to record the movie this one being a two and a half hour movie nearly um, took around about three and a half hours to convert um, into a 4k upscaled um, so if I just see all you do is do the settings, click start and it will start to encode, you can go away a leave it, you can carry on working on your computer and it will do it in the background um, so I'll just close that down and I'll show you what I basically have on here so in here I have a list of my 3D movies at the moment which I'm, I'm going through and converting um, so we were doing um, the Avengers there, so if I double click on Avengers so this is a this is only playing obviously as you see it you know copied off my monitor screen um, but I pipe this image out from my main uh, tower PC via HD, a long HDMI link to my TV um, just go straight in I can play this through most players um, VLC I can use power DVD and it's just basically an image in side by side format it goes to the TV and on the TV, you press your 3D button, choose side by side mode, it merges these images um, and gives you the best um, gives you the, the best picture quality. Because running across the top here now, because this is up converted, um, if I just go to 
putting it back in full screen. So running across the top here now from corner to corner it's been up converted to uh, 3840 pixels wide to 2160 pixels deep. If I play this then back on my um, 4K passive TV it will have the resolution because of the two half images. Um, so it will half it um, horizontally which will take it down to 1920 and it will have it vertically as well because of your passive retardant screen um, on your TV so it'll have it vertically back down to 1080 so basically you, have, you will then be watching this movie on a 4K TV at 1920 by 1080 pixels which is the same as watching as bobbing in a Blu-ray disc um, and there's some people I've talked about this and said oh, it's not, not technically true it is, you know, because it's what it's doing, what it's doing. You, you have the amount of pixels horizon, horizontally and vertically, and it is doing exactly what I said there. It's, it's, it's having that resolution because of your half side by side, because of your passive retardant screen, and then viewing it on a 4K TV, um, it will um, it will play back at 192 or by 1080, which is full uh, Blu-ray resolution. Um, so it's the best way I've found of being able to have um, all films um, available. Um, like I said, I just run this through. Um, if I open it up here, so I've got my Plex server here. So in here, I've got my movies collection, the movies collection in general, um, stand standard um, movies I have in my catalogue. Um, that I've bought and I've ripped off myself to um, uh, just just a standard for that 1080 and then if I go back into I have a 3D movies section here and all these movies that I've got in here um, are all upscaled um, side by side movies um, in um, 4K format 3840 by um, 2160 that wants to play back on a passive 4K TV it must be a passive, uh, so it doesn't have to be passive. Sorry, yeah, it must be a it must be a 4K TV. I mean, if you've got a 4K TV that's got non-passive 3D, you'll be seeing these as totally full upscaled uh, videos. But you probably won't see a difference in resolution taking off you know, uh, between, say, um, a passive TV and uh, a non-passive TV because you will still only see really see. Um, uh, 1080, um, uh, 192 by 1080, um, if that makes sense. Um, even though it's upscaling to your full um, 3840 by 2160, um, there's some upscaling done. Some TVs do it better than others. Some have really good upscaling. You may see a, a difference in in quality on there, but um, I think these look amazing compared to how I used to watch them, um, which was on my 4K TV as 1080 um, uh, rips side by side and it really reduces your resolution down it's the best way to watch um, uh, the, the films you know at that full full resolution in 3d um, if they could do this you know release films um, in this way for 4k um, as side by side I think it could help the 3d uh, TV industry I mean, people say it's flop. People say it's dead. I love 3D. I love to watch 3D films, and it's uh, I think it would be a good way of probably um, boosting um, how people view 3D uh, on there. But it's a personal opinion. Um, but that I find this is the best way to uh, to view 3D uh, content. So thank you for watching that. The programs you need to hear are, like I said, DVD fab. Um, they are still quite large of the files that are produced um, uh, from this uh, kind of uh, conversion as you can see here uh, sizes ranging from um, 14 gig to for a full film as low as three um, uh, three and a half gig there um, some shorts um, quite small but still quite large for the size um, so yeah, play. This is a, a the the lava shot ripped from the um, Inside Out DVD. So you can find you can usually 
go into the using DVD fab you can go into the um, the title listings um, and find any shorts that are on there any special features if there are stuff in 3d you can rent those off as well um, but it's um, it's a, a great way to create um, a system there if you don't want to have to keep popping discs in you know and you want just a kind of like a jukebox movie jukebox type thing where you can watch your films whenever you want then this is the best way to do it okay thanks for looking at that if you've got any questions just leave them in the, um, the comments below um, and I've tried to answer anything I've not uh, covered on here for you okay thanks for watching